All right, we're here with uh, Fred DeSilva. He's going to go over some things he's found on the Camaro. Well, this Camaro has all aftermarket body panels on it. The hood's aftermarket, fenders are aftermarket, doors are aftermarket. And anytime you deal with aftermarket body panels, they don't quite fit as good as a factory original replacement part. Um, they don't so just lock into place. They just don't lock into place, no. You have to maneuver them, you have to shift them, you have to sham them a lot more, you have to... Um, they become a, a, a lot wavier than the factory parts do. I don't know if you catch it on camera, but the whole top of the hood here is, is, is wavy all around the corners. The corners are not nicely uh, uh, tapered or, 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 or bent. There's, there's some kinking in the corners. Um, there's, there's a couple of waves throughout the panel, but that's, that's, that's normal with an aftermarket part. Let me see if um, I can see down the reflection. Yeah, you might be able to see the reflection of it. Yeah, you can when you go down. Yeah. It looks like you did something. Uh, yeah. It looks like a gap. The other issue is, are, are the gaps, right? They, they do require uh, a little bit more work than, than two factory panels that were made for this car. As you can see, it's a lot tighter right here and, and wider up, th up and through here. So we are gonna have to grind away on one of the edges, either the fender or the door, re-wall the edge, grind it and perform body work. Okay. Um, Is that the same thing with the hood with all these uh, dents and... Well, those have to be worked out and then it takes a slim coat of uh, body filler. Uh, okay, so you're gonna have to get yeah. it as flat as you can and then skim coat right, it and right, smooth right, it out. Exactly, we, we work out the dents as much as we can and then you know, the slight waves that are left behind, we coat it with a slim coat of body filler, block sand it. Yeah, because you can see that. Pretty, yeah. That's pretty bad, huh? <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, there's a couple throughout the, the rest of the hood, like throughout the centers, but they're not as bad as the edges. Is that pretty typical for a aftermarket? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They've, actually, they've actually gotten better over the years. Yeah. Aftermarket pa panels have actually come a long way, but they still need some work to make them to look really nice on a car. And Teddy was saying something that this was folded in or something? Yeah, what happens is when the, usually when hoods are shipped, even, even, even with brand new factory uh, GM parts, when, when they're shipped and manhandled, a lot of times people will drop the box or the, or, the pa or, or the hood on the ground on their corners, and what happens is it just rolls the corners. Oh, you see what I'm saying? When yeah, they ship it, yeah, it, it, yeah. it rolls around in the corners and the corners are rolled. So when we did get the hood, both corners were rolled in, so he had a hammer and straighten them out. <laughs> You know, that, okay. That's 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 what happens. What about fitting the doors and stuff like that? You said something about the welds. Uh, what was uh, Teddy was saying? Something about redoing some of the welds. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes like a fender has a brace underneath it. To, it's just part of the structure of the car. Sometimes it's possible to, to break open the, uh, the the bracing to reposition it. Um, what uh, what weld were you talking about? Ted? You said you had a rebreak. You were talking about you thinking you had a rebreak of weld. Oh no, I had to actually pry the fender open. I had to use the port power to open uh, it up because it was just closed up too much. It was it was uh, yeah, it was it was sticking up. I had to pass the door, so I had to go. I made a yes, yeah, so check for the bottom of the fender, so my port power wouldn't slip off. And I actually put a pair on the inside, and I just opened it up, so this thing just went in. Oh, so, so the shape of it, the it didn't line with it. Yeah, the shape was <laughs> Yeah, up, the yeah. fender was like coming off. It was just too. too oh yeah, yeah, I got you. It's like it got squished or something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you had, had to open it up and, and straighten it out a little bit yeah. to meet the door. Okay. Yeah, I guess, make, yeah. make it taller so the center went in to line, line up the door. And then what's involved with fitting the? Uh, you're talking about fitting the doors. Well, the doors we have to fit, as we're talking about, we have to... Yeah, we saw that. That's, yeah. what we have to, that's what we mean by fitting. We have to grind off sides, re-weld them to get the gap in, correct? Gotcha. And you okay. can see, even back here, see, they're, they're just shaped totally... They don't fit very good, so we have to cut it, re-weld it, so the gap matches all the way down the same. Okay, got it. So. Any other aftermarket wonders? At the moment, that's it. At the moment, no, but uh, they have gotten better over the years, and uh, <laughs> hopefully well, they Trump continue getting better. Got a bit of attention, too. Yeah. And there's, there's Quid. Uh, Quid, uh, how's the upholstery looking for Peace. this car? Yeah. Peace, brother. Peace. <laughs> I'm going to be... You're not doing the upholstery on this car. No, I'm going to be a hippie from now. I'm going to be known as Brother Love. <laughs> uh, just to help out with the update, we'll sh also show you some of the parts that uh, uh, Freddie's been working on and painting up. Well, we've got our new gas tank straps for painting. Right. Came in raw steel. 
uh, sway bars, front and rear, uh, ready to fan shroud cover, brake booster, control arms. There's a couple of them which are assembled, ready to go with that. Uh, the other ones are still being, uh, the bushings and bo upper bulges are being put in. New wheel walls were painted. Those came out nice, huh? Yeah. And also back here, the uh, coil springs, the new coil springs for the front. Yeah, okay. We we'll painted these. Uh, hood latch, header panel support, uh, battery box, tray over there, brackets for the wheel houses, for the front wheel. There you go. Bumper brackets, uh, heater box cover, all of that, and uh, hood hinges which are already on the car. Radio support, subframe. Um, oh yeah, you guys just put the subframe on too, right? Yeah, subframe. Subframe is in that ready support been painted. Subframe hinges. Oh yeah, those look nice too. So that's all of this. The firewall we painted because you have the body body call underneath, and the engine bay is black, so we taped it off and painted the front of the firewall black. Nice. The rear axle has been painted. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, the leaf springs. Leaf springs been painted, installed. We have new e-brake cables are in. Uh, brake lines are in back here, and uh, we we're working on fuel lines. I think we're waiting for one of the fuel lines that was long. So we're going to run the fuel lines next in it, because I mean, it's all, the floor's already all painted, so.